Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Elite Spice. It's a very, you know, we're going to implement a very simple circuit. Uh, and using the circuit, basically, we're going to have like the main uh, interaction with the main like, you know, uh, interface of Elite Spice. You know, how to, make, how to do simple stuff. How to move, how to delete, how to change or modify values, how to add a component, you know, stuff like that. How to simulate. Okay, so our circuit will be a very simple circuit, just a battery, a voltage source, in series with a resistor. We're going to measure the voltage of the resistance and also its current, ohms low, okay? So let's see how to do that. So you have here a little spice. So you go to uh, File, New Schematic, that's it. Let's add a voltage source. You have here a menu for voltage sources. Voltage source. You add it. Then you uh, press escape, the escape button on the keyboard to remove the second instance. Then for the resistance, you go to the resistance menu here and you put one, left click, then press escape again to remove the, to, re to escape basically. Uh, we need also a ground. Here is a ground menu. You put one, press escape, you exit. Now let's connect all of this. This is a wiring, you know, tool. You click on it. You go up. You go right. You go down. That's it. You go down. You go right. You go down. You go down. And you go left. That's it. Everything is connected now. Just before we go, if you want to zoom in or out, here is uh, zoom in. Or, oh, yeah, because, okay. Now it's escape, right? We don't know where, where where we are. So you have to zoom out to find everything. And here it is, okay? If you want to move, so here is basically the move. You select everything and you can move whatever you want. It's ugly, I know, but anyways. Now let's zoom in. Let's zoom in again. Good. Let's escape. Okay. Now let's change the values. So let's make the battery 10 volt. So you come to the symbol of the battery. You right click. You put the, the value like 10 volt, for example. I don't like the name of the battery. Usually the battery is called E for energy, right? So you hover over the name of the battery right now. The default name, which is V1. You right click again. And you put E here. Press OK. That's it. Uh, let's set the resistance. You come for 10 ohms. You come hover over the resistance symbol, right click, you put 10. Or let's put it, let's put it five. So the current will be two by ohms low. So I'm gonna put five five ohms and the battery voltage is 10 volt. So the current will be 10 divided by five, it's two. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't like the name R1. Let's call it R. Right click, Mr. R. Okay, that's it. Let's now run the simulation. Okay, so here is the name of, uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, the key for the run. Uh, we press on this key, this key and basically, uh, let's move this to the right. Oh, we have to, do, okay, let's move this first, then we do the simulation. Okay, press escape, run again. Let's, okay. Uh, for this type of run, okay, it's gonna be a transient, and you have to define like a stop time. So he needs, LT Spice needs, uh, you know, to define to define for him for how many seconds he should run this simulation. Okay, so I'm gonna put just one second. Okay, of course, during all this one second, the current should be constant at two amperes. Then divided by five, it's two, and so you just you just put one here. You don't need to do anything else. Press OK. That's it. OK. Now, this is a simulation window right now. Uh, again, you have to define for the spice what kind of, you know, of metric you want to measure. So what you do, you come to the circuit here in the bottom window, and you hover over a wire to measure its voltage, or you hover over a, a resistance or any element in the in the circuit to measure its current, the current that goes through it, 
okay? So let's measure the voltage first. So of course, the voltage of the resistance should be 10. They are, you know, they are in series, but they are connected in, 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 in parallel as well, because uh, as we said, you know, uh, when you have two elements connected in parallel, that means the, the end, the start and the end, the two terminals of the, the element, of the first element is connected to the two terminals of the second element. So the first terminal is connected to the first terminal, the second terminal to the second terminal. That's a parallel connection. And that's what we have here. So the first terminal, the top terminal of the battery is connected to the, two term the top terminal of the resistance. The bottom terminal of the resistance is connected to the bottom terminal of the battery. Okay? So that's a parallel. So basically the voltage across R is the same as the voltage across E, the battery. So it should be 10. And, and, they are also series in that special case, you know. So the current of the battery is also the current of the resistance. And this is how we, can, how, this is how we define a series. You know, you have uh, one connection at least, you know, one terminal is connected to, uh, or one common terminal, terminal here and also a, co a terminal here. And the, the, the two elements have the same current. This is what we have here. So the current will be again 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Okay, so if you want to measure the voltage across the, res the resistance, go to the terminal here, because the second one is zero. This terminal here has zero. So whatever here is the voltage of the resistance. You just come come to it, hover over the, 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 the wire. Uh, this symbol will appear for you. It's like, uh, it's like uh, you can measure here. Okay, And you just left click, and you have this. So LT Spice measured for you the resistance. You see, guys, I'm sorry, the voltage. 10 volt, 10 volt. Now let's measure the current. The current is flowing through the resistance. So you hover over the resistance and look now, the symbol has changed. You know, you have here this, uh, I don't know, turquoise or whatever color it is. So that's basically the symbol for the current. So you just right, left click, left click and oh that's not the one lift click again yes so you have to basically for the current you have to do for two times i don't, I don't know why but this is what this is what it is so you see guys now two amperes two amperes that's the current to throw the resistor so again to measure the current you go to the terminal you go to the wire and you lift click 10 volt 10 volt and that's we know that that the voltage across the resistance is 10 volt for the current, you hover over the, the resistance itself, not the wire, not the top or bottom terminal, and we left the click maybe two times, and you have it here, two amperes. Okay, guys, that was it. Again, it's very simple uh, to use. The objective wasn't Ohm's law, of course. The objective basically was to see how to interact, how to use the basic functionality of Spice. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and see you in another video. Bye-bye.